Welcome to English Rocks. I'm Jabril. And I'm Abed. And today's focus is Year 8 Poetry. I'll show you voices. Today we're going to be looking at Indigenous voices. One of the poems we have examined in class is Jack Davis's poem Land, which looks at Indigenous people's sacred connection to the land. So we're going to be reading through the poem. And then analyse it. Here we go. Land by Jack Davis. Oh, white man, how can I make you understand? This love of land, it has the touch of a child's fingertips to a mother's lips, soft as a butterfly's wing. Her loveliness is summer red, pink, fading gold. As mother's son sinks to fold herself in a cloak of night, embossed with the light of stars from a black nation's dream time. The title of the poem often gives us a strong clue what it is about. As it is titled Land, the poet is focusing on indigenous people's strong connection to the land. It is very sacred. What an opening line. Oh, white man, it is so emotional, don't you think? Yeah, it really is. The exclamation and the exclamation mark clearly show how frustrated the indigenous people are towards the white people's attitude. And the alliteration of the L sound in love of land shows indigenous people's love for the land. And this is a great love that the white people just do not understand. They just don't get it. He comes a beautiful metaphor of a child's fingertips touching a mother's lips. It is such a beautiful metaphor because this is the loving relationship indigenous people have with the land, like a mother and child. And this love is reinforced with the simile, comparing it to a soft butterfly's wing. I believe this simile captures the tenderness between Aboriginals and the land. As it is so soft, they really care of it very much. The poem then moves to the beauty of the land, with the poet listing colours. And listing summer red, pink and fading gold. Portraits of the real beauty of the land. You can just imagine this mixture of red, pink and gold. I really enjoy the next metaphor because it is really extending the loving mother-child image. That's right. Just like a mother gives life to a child, the son gives life to a land. It is a great metaphor. All beautiful things in the daylight must come to an end as the sun begins to set. And the cloak of night is an effective metaphor to show the dark cloak coming across the land. This long, wide cloak. And what an ending. ending. It may be dark and it may be night, but all the millions of stars on the cloak really capture the stories of the dream time. It really shows just how deep and rich the Aboriginal culture really is. It really does. Yeah. There it is everyone, an analysis of Jack Davis's poem Land. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Today we're going to be looking at indigenous indigenous voices. And one of the so are they, are they going to be bloopers? Are your, your bloopers are right yeah. the end. Yes, oh, yes, yes. One of the poems we have examined in class is Jack Davis's poem Land, so, which looks into indigenous. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, man? That was so good, man. What? I, I cut it early. I cut it early. Come <laughs> on, man. <laughs> and what an ending! It may be dark, it may be night, but all the millions of stars. Oh, I forgot. Fix <laughs> the camera. I forgot. Fix the camera. Fix the camera. <laughs>